My name is Jody Bunting, this is Craig Maddox and welcome to the Health Idol Body Transformation. Craig, please tell us your story. Um, my story is, um, I used to be a competitive swimmer. Um, I used to train regularly, every day, lift weights from an early age. So from seven, eight years old, all the way through up to 21, I was uh, training and competing. So I was brought up in a sporting environment, always uh, training hard. And this went on through to um, up to 20 years old. And <clears throat> about 20 years old, I started to feel, I, used to struggle. I was struggling with my training. I was getting more fatigued, not recovering from the training sessions. Uh, my times were going down, uh, even though I was up in my training schedule. Um, so it wasn't a good time. I didn't really know what was going on. Um, I got to, uh, just before my 21st birthday, um, I had come down with the flu, which the first time I got been ill, never had the flu. Um, and this went on for like two or three weeks. Uh, didn't feel too good at all. And uh, I went to the GP and he gave me a course of antibiotics and just said rest. So I rested for two weeks, we were on the first course of the antibiotics, uh, which did nothing. After two weeks I felt the same, or worse even. Um, so I went back to the GP, he gave me another course of antibiotics, uh, took them, and again nothing. So I hadn't been training for about four weeks and uh, I was really struggling. I said the same symptoms at the beginning of uh, when I come down with the flu. It wasn't getting any better, so it, it was, um, I wasn't happy about it, so I was in my uh, winter training, so I was training quite a lot, and uh, obviously I was home, I had four weeks with no training, so I was getting stressed out, that I wasn't, I was losing my fitness, the conditioning, um, but this went on for quite a while, and I kept going back to the doctor, he's saying, just rest, you'll be fine, um, so I started losing faith uh, in my GP, because the drugs I did take weren't helping at all, and then, um, I booked up to see a specialist, went to see the specialist. He done some, um, I had to go back and do some tests. I had to have an MRI scan um, on my brain because I was, having struggle, I was struggling with chronic head, headaches, migraines, severe pain in the back of my head, which, um, you know, I, at a point where I couldn't get my head off the pillow, I couldn't uh, handle light. So even in the daytime, I had to have the uh, curtains closed. Um, because it just made me, it just really triggered some kind of response off my body. Um, so I had the MRI scan, that come back clear. I had all blood tests, uh, I had all the tests going and it all come back clear. And the specialist didn't really know the answer. He just said you've got post-viral syndrome. So he recognized the flu virus and uh, I just hadn't recovered. My body couldn't deal with it. Um, so his answer was uh, antidepressants. <laughs> which um, at the time, I didn't really know, he didn't say they were antidepressants, he just put me on them. Um, so I took them, just having full faith in the specialist. Uh, I was on them for about two weeks and all my symptoms got worse, actually made me, it just started affecting my emotions and my uh, mentality, I was struggling, getting very depressed. I wasn't depressed before, I was just frustrated that I couldn't do anything. So I went back to the specialist and um, he just said, carry on taking them, you're going to be fine. And uh, it really just fogged me off because he didn't really have an answer, to just take this drug. So, um, but I did go up to Manchester and I was on, um, I went on a machine which um, it's called bioresonant therapy, which um, worked my body for seven hours a day to clear out the virus I was supposed to have in my body. That was really low because I didn't know anyone up there. I used to live in a caravan in the car park of the clinic. Um, so that was a bad time because it worked my body so much, it was, it, I, you know, I was uh, in chronic pain. And how did you discover the key to okay. getting yourself from a me? Right, the key was um, I found out about the Check Institute um, over in the States, which um, I started reading, uh, I come across it on the internet, and I started reading about what they're all about, what Paul Check was all about, and started reading a lot of the principles he was talking about. Um, and I ended up going over there to the Check Institute and having every test going, looking at my metabolism, looking at 
my immune system, look at my um, digestive system, look at my hormonal system, look at my detoxification system. Um, and from that, I was, and my adrenals, from that my body was trashed. Uh, I was in stage three of adrenal exhaustion, which um, at that point my body was in crisis. So that, that was, um, they put that down to the, all the herbs I was on. So I was trashing my body so long, I've been on five years on ginseng and every herb going every day. It was, uh, even though it was giving me energy at the time, it actually was um, burning me out. So I was in peak burn, burn out of my adrenals. Uh, my immune system was very low. Um, I had parasites down on in my stomach. 75% of your immune system is your gut. My gut was um, littered with um, parasites and fungal uh, old yeast infections. So my immune system was depleted. Um, and they found the virus, uh, virus Kozaki B virus, which was um, affecting my hypothalamus pituitary cortex, which is basically the control center to your hormonal system. So my, and, in, and also in my nervous system. So this virus was uh, was uh, in my system for a long time, which my body just didn't. It was so low, it didn't really recognise, and it was just there. And um, so that's where I found out about exactly what's going on in my body. And the next stage was checking street putting a protocol or a template together to get my body to heal itself and it took time, it took up six months to eight months which really, if you look at the whole time I was here, it was not that long. Um, no, I felt, I felt so much better, I didn't have the virus anymore, my parasites were gone and uh, my body started healing itself. I gave my body a chance to heal itself by getting rid of the um, getting rid of the bugs in my body and through supplements and uh, certain uh, uh, functional medicine protocols. And did the Institute recommend a diet plan and an exercise plan straight away? Um, yeah, I mean, I was so screwed up that, you know, I just needed to um, start implementing a healthy nutritional program, just getting in the right nutrients in. Um, and then work towards um, doing my metabolic typing. So finding out what I should be eating for me, um, which at the beginning it was it would have been too much. You know, I had so much going on in my body that I needed to get rid of obviously the the foreign or the bad things in my body, and then start working on my my type, which I started eating too, and then it just really just continued from there. My health started to improve. I started doing things again without relying on herbs. Uh, or out resting for two hours and then it just continued from there. Finally, what are you currently doing and what do you, what are your goals for the future? Okay, well, six months ago I, I opened up uh, XL Health and Performance, which is a training and therapy facility um, in the LC. And um, my whole vision was to open this place up um, to get all the best coaches and therapists under one roof. Practitioners through the Czech system and therapists, new muscular therapists, sports therapists who have had some kind of um, involvement or understanding of how the Czech system works and physiotherapy. So everyone's under the same roof, so we sing for the same thing sheet and use that more of a holistic um, protocol. These goals are first, it was expanding the Excel health and performance, okay, getting the best trainers, getting the best facility. Um, and using the methods which work um, in training to rehabilitation to nutritional lifestyle coaching. So it's building up, and then this year and definitely next, just building up the awareness with Excel um, and getting the best team possible and getting results with our clients from clients who have got chronic problems, uh, musculoskeletal problems, to athletes, to youth. Uh, or um, kids who want to get in better shape. Um, so it's just spending my, our clientele and over the next uh, few years is maybe opening up another one.